Welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. If you were with us in the last video, we did kind of an overview of the basic features and functions of the Dofer A105 SSM 24 decibel low pass filter. Uh, we talked kind of what all the controls do, so I'm going to assume that you've watched that or you have some kind of foundation already as to what those do. Because uh, this time we're just going to jump right in, start doing some audio uh, demonstrations, hearing what this sounds like, and then going from there. Uh, so this next video is just going to be the audio demonstration part, and then we'll do uh, maybe some modulation in the next one. So let's go ahead and get our patch going. Uh, if you look over here to the left, I have a sequencer set up over here. Uh, and I'm not going to go cable by cable into everything, but the short version or shortest version I can think of, is uh, output right here is two sets of notes. It is the set of notes coming from here, which is the top row of notes from this bottom sequencer here. And then up here, there's a set of notes coming out from this top row right there, uh, going into this switch over here. And then the output of that is going over here somewhere. And I don't know that my camera can actually see it. Let's see. Let me move my camera. Sorry about this. Turning it, okay, right here. Uh, this is my quantizer, so the output from the switch is going into the quantizer right there. And then the output of the quantizer is going into there. So we're actually hearing some uh, harmonic notes, uh, major, in case you're curious about that. So I'm gonna turn my camera back. Um, now, let's move back over to the center section where our notes are coming into our A111 right here in the center right there. And then we're going to use that as our sound source. Um, I did promise that we're going to kind of get maybe a VCA involved so we could hear something a little more interesting. So I will need to do some additional patching to do that. Uh, let's see, I need some cables. Let's see, I think I can use the clock out. So I'm just going to do a standard um, triggering of a VCA. Um, if you have not seen this before, um, I, I might encourage you just beforehand uh, to maybe watch the A155 videos, the A156 videos on the dual quantizer, uh, and maybe one on the A140, which is what I'm gonna be patching this cable from. So I'm taking the clock out from here, so every pulse clock I'm gonna be using to trigger an envelope, which is over here on the right of our filter. So right here, and you should be able to see activity happening over here on our envelope. Yep, there it is. So it's triggering our envelope every so often. And then I'm gonna be taking the output of our A111 saw going into this VCA over here. There we go. There we are. And then I'm gonna take the output of that and just run it over into our input of the SSM filter. There we go. And I may need to reposition, reposition this stuff because there's a couple of cables that are kind of uh, veering moderately close to the camera and I don't want it to get out of focus. So let's see, I'm running audio out from there, there, there. Okay, so then I have to run my output from my envelope right here into the CV input there. Turn my gain down, maybe about there. That way this will be triggering the amplitude here. And then let's see, I need another cable. So let me grab one of those. And this is just for backup cables. So now I think we have enough to do sound. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna patch my audio out here. So that's a basic uh, sound right there. If I want to bring up the gain a little bit, I can, just to kind of vary it a little. I can adjust my sustain, release, to vary the shape of the sound. I have my resonance up, so let me turn that down so we just hear the dry filter this time. We'll play around with resonance here in a bit. cutoff so let me move this down so right there we're all the way closed right there we're at about the midway point 
and then I'm going to go all the way up. So I'm going to take the saw out and let's just try a different waveform just for the heck of it. We'll do triangle wave. And that one's a little dull for me. So why don't I mix, let's see if this cable's long enough. Why don't I mix a triangle with a pulse? So I'm going to take my uh, pulse over here. I can add a little more harmonics right there. So right there at my A131, I have top one triangle wave, bottom one pulse, just so we have a little bit better material to filter. Okay, now let's play around with resonance a little bit. So right there, I'm at about a medium resonance setting. all the way up. So there we're at maximum frequency cutoff. Let's bring up the resonance a little more. Right about there. So and one thing I noticed immediately after going through this uh, filter and the resonance setting is there's a lot of nuance, like a lot of little small settings that allow you to get big changes. See like every little push right there on the frequency dial is giving me a new setting. And I was actually pretty fond of the ones down towards here. Maybe like a medium resonance setting, kind of muffly. Almost like you can hear it in the background, sort of. It's coming at you or something like that. And then finally when you open the filter up, now it's arrived. But that's just one way of looking at it. And you can hear that kind of dip, hopefully. I don't know how, how deep frequency response your speakers have, but on mine, it's fairly deep right there when I go to the lower end. It's kind of boomy. I don't know how much of that you can actually hear, but... So you could probably make a fairly decent kick with this as well. So, there you have it. Basic audio demonstration. So I'm going to unpatch that, and uh, we're going to actually wrap up since we're getting to about the 10 minute mark and I like to kind of uh, cut it off or cut myself off at around 10 minutes. Um, 
hopefully you found this useful. This is just a basic demonstration. Uh, just wanted to go through a few waveforms and hear what they sound like and kind of give you a feel for this filter. Um, in the next video, we're going to go a little bit further with it. Uh, maybe apply some modulation signals. I do have some sort of modulation signals, as you can see over here next to the A131, already available to us. I have an LFO kind of just waiting right there. I'm not sure if we're going to use that or not, but we might. Um, up here at the top, I have an envelope generator, and when I was doing some tests, uh, I kind of enjoyed the sound of the envelope generator also triggering the filter. Uh, that sounded pretty cool. So we may do that, or we may use the sequencer, or who knows what we'll do. Uh, but at any rate, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you stay with us for the next one, and keep on patching out there. Thanks.